Hey there. So on the first video I did on this topic, which was page level security, we implemented this awesome solution. And if you haven't checked it out already, make sure you go watch that video now. But this video is gonna be all about taking this to the next level. And there's technically a little bit of a loophole that exists when it comes to this page level security, where if someone gets a URL access to a specific page that they're not supposed to have access to according to our page level security, then, then it technically bypasses our levels of security here. So what we're gonna do is use one more special trick to essentially cover our bases on there. So if someone even isn't supposed to be there, it's not gonna work for them, all right? So that's the idea. And what we're gonna do to accomplish this is called object level security. Now object level security is an awesome feature in Power BI. There are some downsides to it and the main one that I wanna point out first and foremost is object level security must be done in a workspace that has premium capacity entitled to it. So what that means is if your workspace doesn't have a little diamond icon next to it, then this object level security feature that I'm about to show you isn't going to work. So it is pretty awesome. So let's look at our Power BI report uh, in the cloud so let me pull that up here so this is the one that we implemented already so if I have the cloud version up this is my incognito now I am signed into this uh, demo account which is PW demo pragmatic works demo and it has access to this uh, premium account it has access to this premium workspace etc and in here remember I can navigate to like uh, the the page that is the black color I could navigate to the page that is the red color so on and so forth. Now, in my Power BI report itself, if we take a look at it, if we go and analyze the blue page, which I have selected here, I also just have this value that is list price. Okay, so I have this value that is list price, and let's say as a hypothetical, maybe this was like a salary or some type of information you didn't want your users to see if they got access to this and they're not supposed to have it. So, an example of uh, implementing security on here uh, would be to assigning people to a role that they don't have access to this specific type of object. Well, there's a few steps to accomplish that, but first, let's see what it looks like when someone does bypass this kind of page level security we have set up here. So I'm gonna open up a browser. So I have two browsers open. This one that I have open now is the Pragmatic Works demo, and then I have another one open right here that is my account you can see that it's my username signed in now and with that if i go to this page level security on uh, this page and if i i have access to the blue page because i am the owner of this product so if i go to the blue page notice i could see uh, some of this list price so if i copy this url and bring it to my incognito page that has a pw demo as we can see right here I'm just gonna open a new tab and paste this URL. Notice now this account now has access to the blue page, which contains list price, where it could be salary, it could be anything along those lines. And I've essentially bypassed the security setting of this page level security we made because PW Demo got access to uh, the blue page when they're not supposed to. And to verify that, if I hit the, the if I go back to here on the, uh, Page selector, notice blue isn't even an option, even though I ended up making it there. So here's where object level security comes into play. I'm going to restrict, not only does a PW Demo account here have uh, restricted access to navigate to that blue page, even if they did get there and bypass the security settings, I am now showing a way uh, that we could block it that we could block actually from them getting anything useful out of it. So what I'm gonna do, the first step is I need to go into Power BI and create a role. All right, so I'm gonna go to the modeling tab. I'm gonna go to manage roles and I'm just gonna call this new role like, like blue page block or something like that, right? It could be anything, all right? And then I'm actually not going to make any roles like rules in this role like we did before like for page level security as an example we put where the email is user principal name for the blue page block role that i just made i'm actually not going to add anything there i'm just going to leave it as is and hit save all right so now that i have that done i'm going to browse to my external tools tab at the top and you're going to need access to the a tabular editor tool 
to accomplish this next goal. It can also be done in Visual Studio, but either way it uh, navigates and modifies the XMLA endpoint. So you're gonna need either Tabular Editor or Visual Studio to accomplish this. But I already have Tabular Editor installed, so if I could click this external tools for Tabular Editor right here, we can see here that here's Tabular Editor and here are the tables that I have within it. Now, if you wanna learn a lot more about Tabular Editor and how to utilize it, what's the point of it, what all can you get out of it, it is not just for Power BI Premium features like this one, which is object level security. Tabular Editor can do all kinds of things, not just object level security. So in here, what I could do if I want to specifically make it to where that that list price column is not viewable, what I need to do is access this dim product table within type of the editor, go to the list price column, which is located right here. And then I can scroll down to the bottom and under translations, perspectives and security, I can open up object level security. And then here I could have, uh, see I have two different roles that exist. Page level security is one that I made before. Then I have this one called blue page block. That's the one we're gonna use. So instead of being default, I'm gonna choose none. What none means is that if you're assigned to that blue page block role, you don't have access to this specific column. So there we go. If I switch that to none, and then I hit control S to save this back to our model. And then I save our Power BI model and then publish to the service again to test Nick. Now I can access my Power BI report again. And if I refresh it and then in this report, it should still be on that blue page. If I copy this URL, give it to the PW demo account and on the PW demo account, if I come in here and try to access it, it's still there. Why? We never assigned a role to this, right? We never assigned the role, so we need to fix that uh, as the owner. So I'm gonna go back to uh, my account and on this workspace, on the Testnik workspace, I'm gonna go to my page level security, semantic model, go to the security options, blue page block, as you can see, has zero people uh, assigned to it. So blue page block, I'm gonna assign PW demo to this. There we go and hit add, save. And now if I refresh, oh, so it says here can't load the model schema associated with this report. If we look at the details, the combination of active roles in dynamic security configuration that is currently not supported. Please contact administrator of this database to resolve the issue. So what happened here is when you have two different types of roles that exist for both row level security and object level security, and they exist in two separate roles, it actually does cause problems like this. But there is a solution to this as well. So check this out. So instead of using the blue page block role in this uh, tabular editor that we have here, uh, instead of using that, I'm gonna switch that back to default. And now I am actually gonna add it to the existing page level security role that we use for row level security to begin with. Now this one role contains both row level security and object level security. So technically speaking, we don't even need blue page block anymore because we're using this one role to accomplish it. So I'm gonna save this value and then I'm going to Power BI. I'm gonna save it again and I'm gonna publish. I'm gonna publish this back in test Nick, replace and now I should be able to not only not have errors and use this report, but when I access the blue page from our PW demo account, it is going to, uh, it should error out to a way that's still usable on the report. But let's take a look. So if I go to the blue page, it has list price on there. And then also I need to, that looks good. I'm gonna copy this. I uh, also need to make sure I assign uh, the PW demo to just that one role. So if we go to security here, I'm gonna remove PW demo from this role, hit save. Now PW demo is just part of the page level security role. It's exactly what we needed. And now I could go back to my, uh, this is my incognito tab with the PW demo on it. So if I paste in the URL for the blue page, Aha, this is exactly what I wanted to see. Now you may be asking me, Nick, 
Why in the world do you want to see this page with this error on it? Well, let me tell you. This is how object level security works. It's kind of rudimentary, it's not perfect. Again, if you wanna know more exactly about how tabular editor and object level security work, make sure you check out the um, introduction to tabular editor course on our on-demand learning platform at Pragmatic Works. Make sure you check that out. I go into a lot more detail on this, but long story short, this visual says something's wrong with one or more fields, see details, something's wrong with one or more fields, the dim product list price, please try again later, blah, blah. Long story short, object level security just makes it to where when you log in and you don't actually see, it, it's as if this column didn't exist in the data model and is what this error is doing here. But of course, if I if I actually go back to the uh, this report, like the main page of this report, so if I go to home, page level security, the, I can still go to the red page and it's fine, right? I can still go to the silver page and it's fine. It's when I try to paste in this URL to bypass my row level security features, now I get this error and now I essentially blocked this PW demo account from bypassing the security level that's in place. Now, this is relevant. This is absolutely relevant because typically speaking, I don't want my, you know, users to be able to access blue page whenever they want. It's just, it's gonna look terrible and it's gonna look like an error. That's gonna raise more questions. This object level security we added uh, in its place is strictly just for a safeguard for us as the developers. So we know, yes, we created this page level security and vast majority of the time, no one's ever going to see this error because the only way someone's going to see this error in this case is if they intentionally use the URL from someone else, someone else got the URL and shared it to them. And then that person can access the page they're not supposed to see. Well, then we've still blocked it to where they can't see it. It makes it throw this error. Now, if anyone else logs into this blue page that's supposed to see this list price column on there, it's not going to show the error. It's going to work just as intended. And this is all just because we implemented that object level security to accomplish it. So that's it, guys. So that's a uh, part two of the page level security video I wanted to go into. It really handles and deals with this security flaw that exists for page level security. Again, the downside here is it does have to be inside of a Power BI premium workspace that has the little diamond icon on it. Uh, but as long as it's part of that premium workspace, then this feature works perfectly. Page level security, you can now implement with confidence and not have to worry about someone potentially accessing pages they're not supposed to by bypassing that page level security. Uh, and now we covered all our bases and we're good to go. So let me know if you guys thought this was a really cool really cool feature if you guys have any other ideas you know because this is just an idea i came up with but if you guys have any other ideas that can help reinforce our page level security let me know in the comments i want to hear what you have to say uh but anyways uh that wraps it up for this video guys and i hope you enjoyed it see you next time